28th of January is Data Protection Day. On this day we celebrate the historical and global efforts to put privacy and data protection at the center of our lives. Data Protection Day is the opportunity to reflect on crucial past achievements, but today I will not look at the past. I would rather look at what is ahead of us in the years to come and beyond. There is an important need to get back to the roots of the right to privacy and data protection as fundamental rights and essential components of humans' innermost dignity. On one hand, the private digital goliaths have acquired so much power and information that people have lost any meaningful sort of control on what is processed about themselves. People are helpless in the face of such a symmetry of power. On the other hand, public governments around the world engage in the geopolitical confrontation, where privacy is either manipulated or anyway breached with the covert surveillance, such as Pegasus. I look with concerns at the trend of prolonging the attitude of COVID times of public access to privately held data, for instance geolocalization data, and using emergencies as justification. At the same time, public-private partnerships reach an unacceptable extreme when the enforcement powers are given to commercial entities. Decisions on the use of personal data interfere with the very right of being alive in the world as humans. Decisions on the use of personal data are political and should be subject to the democratic debate, process and oversight. This is true for the uses of data by private and public actors alike. Have we maybe forgotten that the role of the government is to empower, not to weaken the position of the individuals? That this need for protection is even more crucial for vulnerable ones, those who otherwise risk being left behind and aside at the margins of this society. Privacy and data protections are foundations of democracy. Privacy and data protections are foundations of justice. They are foundations of fairness in respect to everyone, no one exempted. I'm proud that Europe is leading the way in regulating and shaping our future on important issues such as artificial intelligence, digital economy, political advertising and data spaces. What worries me though is the potential dilution of privacy and data protection in these future legal acts. Now more than ever, we need a new deal that reincorporates privacy and data protection into the basic pillars sustaining our societies. And we need the individuals to get back in control. Democracies and trust individuals to select the political representative despite politics being complex. Similarly, we must create the conditions for individuals to engage in free meaningful choices in the digital environment and don't tell me it's too complicated for the user. Tell me it's the right of the human being. We must visualize this original intent so to have privacy and data protection face the challenges of a society which cannot stop and shall go stronger. On Data Protection Day, I commit to making this my mission for the years to come.